you for quiz 310-311. You don't have to write out the word problems, you just need to write down the information that you need to solve them. All right, question number one. Bob's pay varies directly to the number of hours he works. If he made $281.25 in 25 hours, then we need to find the following. So before we look at our list that we are going to be finding, let's underline the words pay varies directly, which is going to tell us that hours is going to be X and pay is going to be Y. So now we're ready to find the constant of variation. So to find the constant of variation for 1A, we're going to do Y is equal to KX, COVK is equal to DVE, Y is equal to space X. We're going to look at the, two, look at the ordered pair numbers that they gave us. So we have 25 hours, and he makes $281.25. So we're going to go ahead and do y equals kx, put our $281.25 in for y, and put our 25 in for x. $281.25 is equal to 25 K, commutative property of multiplication. Is the variable on the left? It's not. So we're going to do symmetrical. 25K is equal to 281.25. Is the variable alone? It's not. What math, math operation is 25 doing? It's multiplying. So we're going to divide both sides by 25. K is going to equal 11.25. So our constant of variation is 1125, and our direct variation equation is 1125x. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how much money he makes in 30 hours. So we put our ordered pair, hours is 30. We're going to use our direct variation equation to find out how much he's going to make. So y is equal to 1125x. x is hours. So y is equal to 1125 times 30. And y is equal to $337.50. So our ordered pair is 30 and 3. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how many hours he worked if he has a paycheck of $310.50. So again, we're going to use the same equation, y is equal to $11.25 times x. And we're going to plug in the $310 for Y, because that's his paycheck. $310.50 is equal to 1125X. Is the variable on the left? It's not, so we're going to do symmetrical. 1125X is equal to $310.50. Divide both sides by 1125, and we find out that he works 27 hours. All right, let's take a look at equations that are direct variation. So A is a direct variation because it is in the order of Y equals KX. So yes, it is. B is a direct variation because it's in the order of Y equals KX. Yes, it is. C, Y is equal to KX, but because of the plus 6, no, it is not a very direct variation. Y is equal to KX, but because of the minus 3, 
No, it is not a direct variation. Now for these problems, we're going to go ahead and do uh, control divide. So we do control divide. 1 divided by 2 is 0.5. Control divide. 3 divided by 4. I'm sorry. Yeah, 3 divided by 4 is 0.75. So these do not match. So no, this is not a direct variation. For B, we're going to do the same thing. Control divide, negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. Control divide, negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. Control divide, negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. Control divide, negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. So yes, this is a direct variation and our K is negative 2 and our equation is y equals negative 2x. Alright, a truck company charges $10 to rent a truck and 25 cents per mile to drive it. Find the cost to rent the truck and drive 18 miles. So let's go ahead and take a look at what our rate is. Our rate is 25 cents per mile. Now remember the per tells us that the mile, the word after per is our x, and our dollars is our y. Our initial value is $10 because that's our fee that we pay for the truck. We're going to roll those in the opposite direction, so it's going to be miles is x and dollars is y. So we're going to write our equation y equals mx plus b m equals 0.25 and b equals 10. So our equation is y equals 0.25x plus 10. Now we're going to go back up and see what we need to figure out. We're driving for 18 miles. Okay, so our ordered pair is going to be 18 and we're going to figure out what our cost is. So we're going to do y is equal to 0.25 times 18 plus 10. y is equal to 4.5 plus 10. So y is equal to $14.50. That's what it's going to cost to drive the 18 miles. The ordered pair would be $18.50. Now they tell us that the cost of driving 35 dollars okay so our cost is 35 and they want to know how many hours we drove or how many miles we drove so y is equal to 0.25 x plus 10 but now the cost is what they give us so 35 is equal to 0.25x plus 10. Is the variable on the left? It's not. We're going to do symmetrical. 0.25x plus 10 is equal to 35. Minus 10 minus 10. 0.25x is equal to 25. Divide by 0.25. Divide by 0.25 and x is going to equal, I believe, 100. So they drove 100 miles. Last question, direct variation graphs always pass through what point on the graph and is it is the origin. So they are proportional. And now you've reviewed for your quiz.